Okay, so it seems like we have more news, and first of all, I want to talk about these sound effects that were leaked on Robtop's uh, website. So these were found by this YouTuber, which is kind of cool, so let's listen to some of them. Ooh, that's a coin, okay. That was kind of loud, but... Okay, so I... I guess... They're all coins, and they were uploaded in 2022 on November. Not sure what they're about, but we got even more news, which is kind of cool. So here, he, Robtop says that with today's devices, he has no reason to keep the low textures anymore, which I think is very reasonable because today's phones are like very advanced. But I'd still like to have this feature in the game because when I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash xcritical, I sometimes have a lot of lag, and so I just use this texture which is very low quality, I know. That's because I got bad computer and you should, for that reason, buy Xturbo Edit. So here it is, go buy it right now. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, so the next one is, does the dual ship uh, behave like the normal ship in 2.2 or would it have break levels? And he says, no, it does not behave the same. And this is actually quite funny because once you're in the duel with the ship, uh, the second ship has a quite different physics. And Robtop talked about this before and he says that he had like a single symbol in his code that resulted in this. And so he cannot fix it anymore because it would break all the levels that use this bug as like a gameplay gimmick or something. Uh, and I think this is quite funny because sometimes like in programming some very small bugs can lead to huge consequences that in this case cannot even be fixed so yeah i think it's i think it's, a, it's not that big of a problem so related to the replay system the seed for the random triggers will be saved in the replay right and he says yes and in case you didn't know there is a random trigger in the 2.2 and it basically like activates random groups every time and there is also a replay system which basically will replay your your last attempt and it would be kind of weird if you have like a trip spike that would have a 50% chance of being deactivated and you would play the level and these triple spikes would not be activated because you know it's random and then you replay the system if, of course there has to be a seed so the groups that are said to be random are always the exact same as the ones that you play the level with when you replay the level and also you could replay your created levels which I think is kind of cool so you could like record on a bad device and then switch to higher quality and basically redo these inputs uh, do you give us a sneak peek four before 2.2 and he says no which means we are not gonna get any youtube videos on robtop's channel uh, until 2.2 is out so i'm assuming the next one would be the trailer for 2.2 which i'm really hyped about <laughs> Steam should be able to just save game data and local levels automatically. I will look at a Steam backup saving though later. Okay, which means maybe in 2.3 or 2.4 we are gonna get like uh, the saving system is gonna be the saving levels for your stats and also saved levels is gonna be handled by the Steam uh, saving system, which means if you like when you basically open up Geometry Dash and create a level on your Steam account and then close the game and then open open the exact same Steam account on another computer, you would have the exact same uh, account and also the exact same levels. So you don't have to like load and save every time, which I think is a very cool feature. I think this, sh this should have existed ever since 2014, which is now almost 10 years ago. Need to go through and look at the whole base of Win to get 64-bit uh, working, etc. Which means Rob is gonna work on getting the 64-bit working for Geometry Dash, which is kind of cool. And here we have Robtop actually saying that he is going to hire people in the future. And he says that the main problem with hiring people is the redundancy. So right now, if he does everything on his own, and, and for that reason, he can fix everything on his own. His point is that if somebody was to write a code or Geometry Dash, and then this code would break, especially if it's a server-sided code, and this person is for some reason unavailable for like Christmas or something, uh, the game could not function properly because only this person that is currently busy is able to fix it but now like everything is under the hands of Rottop which I think is a very valid point yet I do think that you should have some people to work with and I think Sai this dude is a Spanish guy I think he does some really good stuff to be honest he like makes mods for Geometry Dash using the same Cocos version as Rottop look at this he made this glow look really cool just like the one in 2.2 and he added like images and stuff you can like scale them up and down also, he made the scale trigger. This is not like created in the editor. This is like basically coding. And he made some crazy systems right here. I watched a lot of uh, his tweets. And he seems to have a bunch of knowledge about coding in uh, Cocos. Also, this feature is really cool. Watch this. So if you have a bunch of clouds and then click on that. He made this all on his own. Look at this. 
I think this is crazy. They're basically like a radius. There's a point in here, and the further these clouds are, the darker they'll become once you click this button. And you can also customize some stuff. So here he made like some randomness. Or like he reverted it here. And yeah, this is like with the random seed. Which is kind of cool, I think. He also made this slider. He made a lot of cool stuff. If you want, go check him out on Twitter. And also make sure to get Xturbo Edit. And the reason why I'm advertising this so much is because it's worth it, first of all. And second of all, I'm pretty sure that there are so many people out there that want to edit their videos really fast. And this tool is actually really powerful for them. And I just want these people to get their hands on it real fast. Because when I was a YouTuber, I really looked for something like this. When I was a small... I mean, this works for small and big YouTubers as well. I used it for my, for my second channel, which has not a lot of subs and for my main channel which has over 100k subs and this is something that i searched for but nobody had it so i made it on my own and no people can get it and and the thing is it's everything i say here is correct so here there is a one-time payment lifetime update so this is how the menu looks like right now but for the next update i have made this which i think is kind of cool so yeah i'm i'm adding like more features you can like add effects to your to your videos really really quick add memes add music also clips is going to be added soon so, so yeah the link is going to be in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Also join the Discord. We have we made a Discord which is kind of cool. Okay, I'll see you. Okay, I'm going to stop now. So yeah, I will see you in the next one.